and welcome to another video. So, you may notice that there is light over there, and that is because I am filming past my regular time. And you may also be wondering why it is probably really dark, and that is also because I am filming past my regular time. So, please excuse the lighting. I don't have any lights yet. I want to say yet because I'm hoping to maybe to get some lights somewhere in the near future so hopefully that happens but anyways today I thought it would be fun to do a good old questionnaire so this I guess is another episode of Talking Thursday still think Talking Tuesday would be better but since I started it on Thursday, I guess I'm just going to keep going like that. So, here we have it. Let's get started. So, number one. And if you want this, I'll link it down below. I think you can find it. Again, if I don't, I'm sorry. But anyways, the first question is, who is your hero? Well, I'd like to say I have one, but to be honest, I really don't. Let me think for a second. Really, I don't know. I, I know that's kind of stupid, but I don't know. I don't know who my hero is. Number two, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? This one, I would either have to say, Like a countryside city in Paris, like one that's like on the outskirts of a town, like Paris, and it's like like kind of old and rural. Rural is such a weird word, but like like that. And if it had to be in the U.S., I probably live in like California. Because Disneyland is my favorite, like, vacation spot. And then actually, so yeah, I really love Disneyland, and that's why I would live over there. Also, there's a lot of, like, different places to go in California. So, yeah, that's what I would do. Three, what is my biggest fear? Woo! My biggest fear... A lot of fears though. Oh my gosh, there's a fly in here. I think my biggest fear would be either drowning or dying in a fire. I just. or being even like caught in a fire, like a house burning down. Like I can't even imagine four. What is your favorite family vacation? I already said this, definitely Disneyland. I love, love Disneyland. After all, I've already done two videos on it, so if you wanna go check those out, you can click on my channel and you will be able to find them. So, I love Disneyland. I would like to go to Disney World someday, but I've actually heard that Disneyland is better because it's not like a spread apart, but I love Disneyland. So, obviously, <laughs> that's my favorite vacation. Five, what would, you, what would you change about yourself if you could? I would probably say that sometimes I get pretty hot-headed and I can be unpleasant to be around sometimes. But, if I, I just, I don't know. I would maybe change it so that it could be a little bit more patient because that's something I sometimes really struggle with is being patient. I really do try, but then it's just, the only time I can be patient is when I'm waiting in lines at Disneyland because I know that greatness is 
But you know what line is the worst? Haunted Mansion, like it literally, you think you're getting close and then, oh, now it's churn. And Indiana Jones, they're both like that. They're really bad for that. Um, what really makes you angry? There's a lot of things that make me angry. But what I think makes me angry the most. I'm gonna say two things. I think what ang makes me angry the most is one, when I'm late to something. I get like really frustrated when I'm late to something because I'm like, oh no, did they leave without me? Or something like that. Or I'm like, I'm late and then people are gonna stare at me when I walk into class, like stuff like that. I killed a fly. Now I kind of feel bad. <laughs> I really don't like it when people say stuff about me that's like not true or they make fun of me and I think that's what most people like. Seven, what motivates you to work hard? Well, if it's something really important to me, then I try to get it done or something that I like. But sometimes I just really, I really get an assignment and I like stretch it out as far as I can and procrastinate, yes. But I don't wanna do it, so I just wanna wait until the very last moment that I can do it, which really doesn't sound that good, but that is what I do sometimes. And what motivates me to work hard is mostly just actually wanting to do it but also sometimes I like feel really good when I've like accomplished something and so that kind of motivates me sometimes eight what is your favorite thing about your career I don't have a career really at the moment I guess you could count this kind of as a career but I guess if that you can this is my career I'd say talking to you guys. That's, I really like doing that sometimes. Sometimes I procrastinate again and then I don't get videos done until the last minute. What is your biggest complaint about your job? My biggest complaint about my job, I don't really have a job, so I'm not gonna answer that. What is your, 10, what is your proudest accomplishment? Don't even know what have I accomplished. One time I won a trophy and dance. Like proudest accomplishment is that I managed to sometimes get two videos up a week. <laughs> I managed to get it done. That is a good accomplishment. I'm going to skip 11 because it is what is your child's proudest accomplishment. I guess I could count my fish as my child, but... Well, his greatest accomplishment, I saw him eat today. I haven't ever seen him eat before. So, I mean, I assume he eats because he's been alive for a month. 12, what's your favorite book to read? Okay, I love books by Shannon Howe, like her best friend novels, her real friends novels. Those are really good. I also like The Sisters Grimm, and I, those are really good. I love The Sisters Grimm. And I read Ranger's Apprentice sometimes, but I read novels a lot. Yeah, so I really like those books. 13, what makes you laugh the most? Probably when it's hanging around my friends and we do something stupid. That makes me laugh a lot, and it's fun. 14, what was the last movie you went to? What did you think? Well, let me think back to March. Um, the last movie we saw was Onward. I thought it was pretty good. Most of Pixar's movies are pretty good, so yeah, I liked Onward. 15, what did you want to be when you were small? 
I wanted to be a ballet teacher and a mom. What does your child want to be when he or she grows up? Well, Indigo doesn't want to be anything right now. He's just a fish, so. I'm gonna say he wants to be a fish. 17, if you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Well, that's a weird question. If I could choose to be anything. I guess I would choose to... I mean, I know this kind of sounds weird, but I think it'd be kind of fun to... be a... like a celebrity for a day. And just like kind of see what they do on a daily basis. It's probably not that interesting, but I'd be kind of, I just want to live in a mansion for a day. Like, oh, a nice hotel stay. 18. 18, what is your favorite game or sport to play and watch? I like to watch basketball and I'm not too terrible at basketball. Like think of this, I can shoot a basket and it can make it in the hole, in the basket. So, I'm pretty good, I I would say. I can get a three pointer sometimes in a good game. So yeah, 19, would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Well, I would probably drive a car, if I could drive a car. 20. What would you sing at karaoke night? Pop songs are terrible for that because a lot of the time pop songs don't really have a lot of melody, at least the newer ones don't. So I would do maybe a musical theater song. I don't know too many, but I do like, I do like, popular even though that's a really classic one but I also really like I dreamed a dream and Disney songs are pretty good for the most part because they have a lot of melody and stuff so they're really easy to sing so most of those are pretty good they're in your right range 21 what two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most I really don't know I don't want to say that because I'd probably say where I live and so I keep making my friends. So I probably won't say that just because I don't want people knowing where I live. So yeah. But I like um, more of the newer ones that play the newer songs on them. I like that one for one and then my mom really likes an 80s music one so I usually listen to that one a lot. So I know a lot of 80s songs. <laughs> Maybe more than I know regular songs, but we don't talk about that. 22, would you rather, which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? Ooh, mow the lawn. I sometimes get paid for mowing the lawn, so I like mowing the lawn. Also, when it's like, it can be really, it can be just a good time. I don't know. I just, I just would rather move on. 23, if you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Yard, yard work. Cleaning. 24, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, first of all, that would suck. Second of all, I don't know, what would I do? Well, I would maybe do like pasta, cause it doesn't mean like one specific meal. It doesn't say one specific, no, specific meal. I would do pasta because pasta you could do a lot of sauces on it. But if I wanted one specific meal, then I would probably do um, burritos. Burritos are good. And 
Burritos are like an actual meal, so you can put a lot of stuff in them. I then again, I don't know really. It doesn't say specifically, but I would probably do a burrito. Who is your favorite author? Twenty five. Um, that's hard. I like a lot of writers. I don't know. It's hard for me to just pick one because there are a lot of writers and they all have like their different strengths for writing, so I don't think I could pick one. 26, have you ever had a nickname? What is it? No, not really. I've always just been Lurial. I think it's hard for people to come up with nicknames, nicknames for me just because my name is very unique for it, like in the US. I know people have my name in Brazil and stuff like that over there, but in the US, I think people just think my name is too hard to say already, so they just call me L'Oreal. Most people say my name wrong the first time. <laughs> I've been called Ariel, Lorelei, Muriel, Muriel, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, and a lot of different versions of L'Oreal, so it's L'Oreal, not L'Oreal. Oh, I did have one. The boys sometimes would tease me in second grade and they gave girls boy names it wasn't just me and they called me larry because like larry l but that wasn't actually how you said my name but whatever guess it counted okay let's take a break since we're at our one fourth point tell me what you guys favorite fall candy or treat is down in the comments could be caramel apples candy corn and i will respond if you in if you comment down below also tell me some video ideas if you have any i don't know if we'll be able to do them if you suggest any but just tell me what your favorite candy or treat is and i'll respond to it because why not okay let's get on with it again 26 have nope 27 do you like or dislike surprises why or why not i like surprises and they're good surprises Sometimes, I don't like haunted houses, really. I, I don't mind haunted houses, I guess, but I just would prefer, like, a birthday surprise. Like, a surprise birthday party, so. Yeah. 28, in the evening, would you rather play a game, visit a relative, watch a movie, or read? Watch a movie. 29, would you rather vacation in, in Hawaii or Alaska? Hawaii. I... Do not dislike the cold, but it is not my favorite, and Alaska is way too cold. I like it where I am here right now because we have different seasons, and it's hot in summer and cold in the winter. So I am good with that. I don't want to go to Alaska for a visit. Would you rather... Oh, and also, like, Hawaii is super pretty. Like, I'm not saying Alaska isn't, but Alaska is just way too cold for me. Would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job, and why? I mean, right now, I'd probably say win the lottery since I haven't really had experience with jobs. So, probably win the lottery. 31. Would you want to be stranded? Who would you want to be stranded on? Who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? Well, I wouldn't want to be stranded on a deserted island at all. But if I had to be... Either my mom or my dad, because they know the most about planting food and building stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 32. If money was no object, what would you do all day? Well, um, I would go to Disneyland all day. That's what I would do. If I could, if I could, that is what I would do. But a close second would probably be like hanging out with my friends. Now I'm doing cross legged. I don't think I've ever done this before. Um, well, I'm okay with it, if you're okay with it. 34, how would your friend, oh wait, no, it's 33. If you could travel back in time, what year would you travel to? I'm gonna answer 
with two again. Like, I feel like I'm cheating because I'm answering with two again. But I would totally either go back to ancient Egypt. But I'd have to be careful because they like killed women back then too, I think. I'd either go back then or I'd go like a hundred years ago just to see what it's like. Well, obviously not right now because this is when the flu was going on. But maybe I would be like really good because I've had the flu before and I wouldn't die. But also, if I got the flu, the 1920s medicine wasn't that good. So I might would die. So I would go maybe back 105 years ago when the Spanish flu was it? Was it the Spanish flu? When that flu back then wasn't going on. 34. How would your friends describe you? Well, I think most people would say kind, nice, loyal, honest. And I would say that I am pretty honest with my friends. Like, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty honest. Thirty-five. What are your hobbies? I like to dance, do gymnastics, bake, go outside, and hike, and bake. Thirty-six. What is the best gift you have been given? I... received 37 I got this joke book one year it was actually this year and it was not I don't want to answer that I don't want to answer that because I was seen me 37 so I'm not gonna answer 37 38 aside from necessity 38 aside from necessities what one thing could you not go a day without chair in my room so some that so like that's where I do my school a lot of the times that kind of sounds bad but that's is what I do yeah that's what I do I use my bed a lot of the time though yeah 39 list two pet peeves That's one. Um, two. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, and you might not like me for saying it, but maybe you will like me for saying it. I don't like it when people don't wear their masks above their nose. 40, where do you see, your, see yourself in five years? Okay, that is a good question. So in five years, I will be graduating high school about and so, I would say, oh my gosh, it's all. I would say that I will either, I don't know, that's, I just am gonna be graduating high school, I want my driver's license, I at least want to have my first kiss by then, and yeah. <laughs> 41, how many pairs of shoes do you own? Eight. I have eight. That seems like a lot. Oh, <laughs> I have eight pairs of shoes. 42. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Time travel. I just think it would be so cool to go back in time. I guess that's technically not a superpower, so if I would say another superpower, 
I would be able to um, teleport wherever I wanted to go. And just go, boom, I want to go to Hawaii, boom, I want to go to New York. And you get there super quickly, and if you're fighting bad guys, you could just pow pow, you know, transfer everywhere, like kind of like the Flash, except you don't have to run. Um, 42, if you were, oh wait, no, 43, what would you do if you won the lottery? I would get a new phone. I would get a better editing program. I would get lighting. I would redecorate my room fully. I would save some for college and that stuff. Um, I would buy tickets to go to a lot of places if I could, right now, if I could, like in the future when there's not coronavirus stuff that ails us a lot with traveling, I would definitely do that. I would just, I would go to a lot of amusements, amusement parks and stuff like that. So, yeah. 44, oh, I would get close to, I know that sounds very vain, but I, really, I like getting close to things. Like, I'm just gonna be the one to say, who doesn't like getting close? Who's a girl at least? I mean, some boys don't like shopping. Like my brothers hate shopping for clothes. But I love doing it, so <sighs> yeah. 44. What form of public public transportation? Public transportation do you prefer? Air, boat, train, bus, car, etc. I haven't been on an airplane. I haven't been on a boat. I haven't been on a train. I haven't been on a public bus. So I'm guessing he's gonna say car, I don't know. <laughs> 45, what is your favorite zoo animal? I haven't been to the zoo in like forever. Why do you ask me these questions? All right, cause I'm doing it. Um, my favorite zoo animal. I like the elephants, the elephants are cool. 46, if you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? There's a lot of stuff, stupid stuff that I say that I might would go to back and change, but definitely. There's this one thing that happened to me a long time ago. And I, I had a little rut with, I had a little bad relationship with this girl. And she made a hate club about me one time. And I wish I had listened to what happened because my friends were trying to be nice and went in and they were like listening to what she was saying. And I just wish I would have listened to it too much for like myself, but I didn't. And so that was what I would change, I guess. Also some questionable fashion choices. 47, if you could share a meal with four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? My grandpa. I didn't really know my grandpa that well on my dad's side, so I'll do my grandpa. There's not really any famous people I'd want to eat with. Cause they don't know you, you don't know them. Why do you, would you want them to see you eat? Why would you want to see each other eating? I don't know. Do one on one with my grandpa. Cause I didn't really get to know him and I would like to know him a little bit better. 48, how many pillows do you sleep with? Two or one, usually I like, if I don't sleep with two, then I um, like hug at the other pillow because like it's not good for that night. Like I switch, I have one pillow that's hard and one pillow that's soft and I like switch between which one. 49, what's the longest you've gone without sleep? One time I stayed up until two. That doesn't seem that long, but um, it's hard for me. 50, what's the tallest building you've been to the top of? What is the tallest building? I don't go to, oh, that was really squeaky. I don't go to that many tall buildings. I'm gonna say a rock structure. I went to this thing called Angel's Window at Grand, Grand Canyon. That was really tall and that was really cool. So I think because this video is getting pretty long, I'm going to save the other 50 questions 
for the next video. Also, lighting is getting really bad, so we're going to do that next Talking Thursday, so don't forget to tune in. Don't forget to tell me below what your favorite fall treat is since it's almost the beginning of fall. And tell me also what you'd like to see in another video on Tuesday. We'll see you guys next week. Bye!